Hello, my Scorpios. How are you doing? So thank you so much for all the support, all the comments, and everything that you um, for supporting me. And so we're going to get into our reading for our weekend. Okay, so see what's coming up for the weekend. And um, I'm just going to change my computer a little bit. Okay, so um, see what's happening with us Scorpios. Okay, Angel Rising Spirits for Scorpio. What's coming up for Scorpio this week? For this weekend? Hope you all are doing great. Thank you for all your support. And I hope that I'm helping you heal and get past some of this hurt that was brought to your life. I really hope you get past it. Okay, but we're going to look for a good, look for the silver light in the cloud. Okay, and blessings for us. All right, Angel Guides and Spirits for Scorpio for this week coming weekend. Please let me know what Scorpio needs to think about. And your overall energy, here's a three of cups. Overall energy. Okay. Let me just put that there. Okay, let's get started with the reading. I changed the reading just a little bit. Alright, so here you have the Five of Swords. For Scorpio, for Scorpio, for Scorpio, okay, all right. All right, my dear friend Scorpio, you have the Five of Swords, <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Um, Scorpios, here is um, you're still in some stressful energy, some things that you are dealing with regarding this person. You're working, you know, still as we see in luxury, you're trying to stabilize your life here and uh, find balance to everything that you're working on. You're standing as the king of wands because you just want to grow and you're, you're trying to make a change in your life to make things better for you. But as we do see the two of cups here, and this could be also like an apology to you coming and reconciliation. I know we don't want to hear that. That's for, you know, if you don't want to reconcile, that's you. Um, but there are somebody here that's that's want to talk to you and to uh, make communication and try to work this thing out. Now, you, it's your free will, right? So it's your free will to take whatever comes to you. But you are, you know, the whole idea right now to think about that is in the Five of Wands. I'm sorry, the Five of Swords. Almost. So the Five of Swords here is saying that stressful, deceitful type energy. Um that just kept hurting you and hurting you and you had to get away from this but with that three of cups energy up here they also with that three of cups with your cards here it looks like someone's want to come back and um, get back together with you and reconcile okay so let's see let's just not hope uh, the three of swords comes out so angels of god spirits can you tell me what else for scorpio for Scorpio. What do we need to know about Scorpio? Okay. And this could be the cross watcher. Dealing a lot of stress from this breakup and this energy. And they're thinking about you, my friends. They're missing out. Yeah, they're manifesting you. And they're thinking about how life with you would have been. And they know that wherever they're at, they're having a hard time. And they see you standing, you know, you're going on with your life here to make changes. Okay. So, three more cards. Yeah, there's a moon card. Card, please. 
That's all the moon cards. Okay. Alright, so you have the magician with the moon card. You're they're mad, you know, they could be using secrets and black magic actually here. And, you know, you're seeing halfway through the BS, and part of you want to believe them that this is not, uh, you wish things could get better, but they can't. You just feel like, you know, with the star card and the happy family life of this person, you know, the star card in reverse is saying that, you know, with this person, you feel like you can't have this happy family life. It won't be successful. And, you know, even if you wished for this, you get, you, it's like a feeling of, I can't do this anymore. But they're going to reach out to you. And this is for the people that are single and, um, and recent events. It looks like something that happened in the last few months, maybe less than a year. Oh. I just want us to have a good reading here. Okay, and there's uh, someone's not waiting waiting anymore. Could be you not waiting. Because you know that time is passing you here. And there's no success in this. And it's like something that never really got off the ground. It's like they kept messing up all the time. And you, you know, with a star card here. This is all the forgiveness to the white stars. This is all the forgiveness you gave to make this happen. And you just, and it's in the reverse, so it's saying that you just can't do this anymore. You're not waiting on this. And you're trying to be stable and grow yourself. But they're going to, they definitely want that reunion for that happy family life. Now, okay, so here's the page of pentacles. Stop fighting with them, and they know that you're trying to find your happiness here. You're trying to find your ten of cups, and the, and you know with this person, you just can't have this ten of cups with them, and it's not going to happen. And the, but they still have this pinnacle here, this immature page here that's bringing his pinnacle to offer all that he can, which he can't offer you much. It seems like this person can't offer you too much, and they just want us to be a happy celebration to get back together. But they see that you um, stop waiting and you stop the fighting. You they see that you're moving on and you're. It's not nothing they can do to you now that can surprise you. You have seen it all, especially with the star card in reverse and all of the forgiveness you did for this person. Um, you have seen everything. It just it just failed. And they blame, they know that is their fault. You know, the high priestess here could be dealing with a Pisces here. And you know in your heart that of hearts that you just don't feel it anymore. You don't feel any attraction or any kind of chemistry with this person anymore. You, I think you always love them with the Ten of Cups here. You have that kind of heart. But, okay, show me two cards for, for Scorpio. The mutual energies between the two, Scorpio and their person. Yeah, there's all the memories here. It's like lingering memories. It's that you still haven't completely got this person out of your head. And when you think about it, you get very stressed out. And you're trying to erase the memories and you're trying to move on. And you just stop fighting. They see the change in you too. They see you different. too many cards if this resonates for you please go ahead and click the like and subscribe button please all right and here you have the uh, six of coins yeah with that third party i mean it does feel like they were given to you and given it to someone else and they, they were break crumbing you that's probably six of coins please they were just breadcrumbing you, 
giving you very little, like that page of pentacles. And you did all you could for this person. So I don't want you as a Scorpio to feel bad about this. Um, you did everything you can, but now you just came and said enough is enough. I just, I really can't do this more. I'm going on with my life. I need to figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to build myself with that King of Wands. Okay, so two, yep. Yeah. Okay, they actually brought out, yeah. See, they're going to come back in as that night here, that slow moving knot with their pinnacle, hoping that you have forgotten everything and, and try to remember the good times with them. That's what they're going to try to use when they come back. They're going to try to use the good memories that you share together and to make you not think about the bad memories. Um, but they're not accepting this. And if you've been away from this person for a long time, they're still bitter and angry. They're not accepting this rejection. And they're mad. It seems like they're mad. They know they lost your love here. Because the Queen of Cups is a Scorpio water sign cup. Uh, water sign. So, But you, they have lost your love here. And they know it. Okay. So let's go into the weekend. So just um, if you're stressed out about the situation, just kind of we'll take some time off and relax yourself. Okay. Easier said than done, I know. And you the spirits for the final outcome for Scorpio. Here's the lover's card in reverse. Eight of Cups. You have the Four in reverse. And the Justice card in reverse. And again, the moon card in reverse. So they were giving you all those illusions to make you future faking with you. A.K.A. as a narcissist would do. But you're not seeing this person. You just don't, you know, before you had such intense love for this person. You had some hot, you know, chemistry. You had strong attraction for each other. And it's like it's kind of fizzled out. But this person is still, and you know... Still trying to figure out what they're going to do. Because they just did every opportunity they could to you. See all the knockdown cups, the eight of cups. Eight of cups means a lot of love here. So they just kind of trampled all over your love here. And just like, you know, I'll go back when I'm ready. Um, but here's the full, full in, return, in the reverse. Um, it's saying that, you know, you're not wanting to go back to this ever. And you've seen the justice. You're not even worried about getting a closure or justice on this person anymore. And it feels like this person could be known that you have walked away. You don't even, it's like this person feels like a distant memory or something. It's like, it's almost surreal. Like it, it you know, it happened, but it really didn't. You're asking yourself this, was I really with this person? But here's the moon card in reverse. So you came out of all those illusions. You kind of awoken to the idea of what this person was doing to you. And you're just saying, no more. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Okay. So let me see. Okay. What other advice for Scorpio? What's other advice for Scorpio? Four of Cups. Again. Ten of Swords. I'll take those two. Okay, so you have the Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person knows exactly what they did to you. They know every sword that they put in your back. They know they did some really... This is why I said they were mad. They're very angry. And they know that you're rejecting them for all the things they've done to you, Scorpio. And here you have the King of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. I, um, we have the Page of Pentacles. Yes, so it's confirming the Page of Pentacles here. This came up twice. So, you have the King of Cups here. You know, this is you, Scorpio. You're looking for someone who's going to help you. Someone's going to support you. 
Okay, so the Page of Pentacles, as you know, a king does not match with a page. A king looks for a queen or a queen looks for a king. Emperor looks for an empress. But the page does not match with this, uh, with a king or queen. So it's like you're on two different levels here. And you could have been with a karmic soulmate or, you know, also like a narcissist or twin flame. And it's just that you, you two are not on the same level. Like you weren't on the same emotional level. You weren't on the same financial level. You weren't on the same, um, um compact, you know, just different things. So this is why it makes me think you have a karmic because when you're with a karmic or a twin flame, a twin flame, you're going to have hell with, you're just going to go up, you know, beginning is so beautiful. And the, as it like the karmic is there to teach you a lesson, the twin flame is just slightly different with. And this is why I see it's like a twin flame. You met this person. You felt like this is the best person that you ever met in your life. But they were on different levels. One of you were mature and the other one wasn't. And the other one was working and giving all. The other one wasn't. It's kind of like, you know, it wasn't equal, equal give or take. It wasn't any um, reciprocity back to you. It was all about one-sided relationship. And the reason being is because when you're with the twin flame, um... It, that is not on an equal level. You were wanting a relationship and they didn't. So these are the type, when you're dealing with a twin flame too, and when you're not equal, this is the types that just jumps from person to person because they refuse to heal. They don't want to go to come back to you because it shows a, it, not right now they don't. They, they just feel like that's the way they get around getting rid of their pain is jumping from another person to hopping, you know, hopping like a rabbit to everything they can get a hold of. And they're in their head, they're thinking, but they're thinking about you. They're thinking about how you, they really want to be with you, but, and they're trying to hide their pain by, um, going to other people and dating up lots of different people. But then the end result, they understand that it's not going away. Okay, but as a king of cups or queen of cups, you're a selling. You're you're not you're not you got to do what you have to do to take care of yourself, and you're looking for somebody on your maturity level, on your caliper, right? You're looking for someone to be on the same level. But this is not um, a tw this twin flame or karmic. They are not nowhere near your level of understanding what a relationship is. And a twin flame is not committed. They just they bounce anytime they want to. And then they just run back because that's the immaturity part. And it's, like I said, a narcissist, right? So they do the same thing. But the thing is here, if your person comes back, do not accept them back. Because if they do, they're only going to do all this again to you. And then you have to start the cycle over again. You know, as we talked about, okay? So please do not take this person back. Now, I know there's a lot of readers out there who will tell you, you know, this is your soulmate. This is the love of your life. And this is this and this. And, that, and that's okay that you love someone. That's what the good people do. But at the same time, you don't take somebody back to feel sorry for them. Because they put their own stuff in this situation. It's just they're not ready. They're not ready and they don't have, they don't have the emotional intelligence as you do. So that's only a, you know... A fall. That's why that star card came out in reverse. Okay, Angel, can you show me two cards for Scorpio? Angel of Eyes, please. So let's just see what they say here. They say, uh, one more. Two more. See, you could have been married to this person. Really close. Could And you know, it's, it's something not right with this person. You just wasn't. And I don't like when someone says you're meant to be. You. You're meant to be, you go back to your soulmate. No. You don't go back to something that broke you. There's something definitely wrong with that situation. Why the wedding card is here? Angels. Why the wedding card? Yeah, see, it says calling in your soulmate. Okay. Now, remember, a soulmate could be a true soulmate. It could be a karmic soulmate. It could be a twin flame. But a karmic is just going to teach you a lesson. Um, the twin flame is not going to really ever, probably pretty much never going to be on your level of love. And what you're looking for, Scorpio, they're not able to give it to you. 
Okay, so you could have been with a person that was, and this resonates for you. Please leave a comment in the um, just, uh, sucking a speak comment section. And uh, but here you have a wedding card, and the vice here is that you're calling in a soulmate. Now, when you're saying that because of that um, magician card I saw earlier, I want to bring that up because that just popped into me that you need to make sure you're pacific. And you need to say, when you're manifesting out loud or you're meditating and you're saying it out loud and, you know, I want a good person, you need to be pacific to ask the angels what you want. You want to say, I want a very good person that's honest, respectful, and that's going to love me equally as I love him. You know, you need to say that because sometimes when you say, I wish I had someone, the universe is going to give you anyone. So please be pacific when you're asking for a good person or for someone to come to your life be careful with that because uh, sometimes we say oh, i want a good person and and you know you might get a good person but the person might not match for you so you might want to say i want a person that's meant for me to be good to me to be re to respect me to be loving to me that's going to be with me all my life so there's different types of soulmates on different levels but this uh karmic that you were with or the um twin flame you need to stay away from that and I think you know that in your heart because you do see through all this and they hurt you and this is part of the narcissism too we don't want to be messing with that okay Scorpio so that's what I have for you I uh, hope this resonated for you um, but again if you watch my videos on rise above narcissism on YouTube it's, if there's something that relates to you about narcissists you know I am putting videos on there once a week okay I'm gonna try to based on my schedule so if you like a personal reading um, you know send me an email to my um, requesting one and it's $35 okay all right so I will talk to you soon love you Scorpios and I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you soon love you with all my heart take care bye bye